Good evening. How are you today? Welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Chat with Amita, the longest running LinkedIn live talk show in Sri Lanka. This is also the first LinkedIn live talk show in Sri Lanka. And I've been running this for some time. Today it is the 84th episode. Just imagine running a show for 84 weeks. And of course, there was a little hiccup in between when we had long power cuts. I had to uh, keep the show off from the scene for uh, two months or two and a half months maybe. But then here we are back. Uh, even my guest today, we planned to avoid the power cut. <laughs> of course, I didn't change the time. He didn't change the time. So here we are on the usual time. And we have more than 30 uh, joining me live so quickly i'll tell you uh, about myself i'm an executive coach i'm also a personal branding strategist and i help b2b companies achieve their sales goals by working with uh, the sales teams so in a nutshell it's about me and then uh, i told you that i bring in various types of people guests into this show and then last week of course, I didn't want to bring a guest, but then I ran an audio event on LinkedIn. I ran the first LinkedIn audio event in Sri Lanka, and then I ran a few. And then last week also, I decided to talk about uh, a topic uh, live. It's a it's an audio live. So today, uh, the the guest that I have brought today, I accidentally um, met him not physically virtually and then i was thinking oh my god what a great personality and the amount of contribution that he is giving to our economy and to the larger society so i thought i would bring him uh, today as a guest but then uh, before i bring him to the stage let me read out uh, something uh, that i that i wrote about this show i was thinking about if you think like this if you decide to uh, if you decide to think about history right you want to think about history can you think about the history without thinking about the work done by visual artists i don't think we would be able to write half of the history without the work of the uh, visual artist. So I have brought you a very special person, very special visual artist. His name is Dananjay Edirisi. Good evening, Dananjay. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you very much for your amazing introduction and inviting me to your amazing show. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, I got you to send me a video. And I think since we have more than 30 people watching right now, Best time to play that video is right now. Let yeah, them I... know who you are. So I'm going to take 30 seconds and then play a, a video which will showcase yeah. Dananjaya's work. Let me play the video. just saw a glimpse of his work and how he works. So, Nananjay, uh, I welcome you to the show along with the rest of the people who have come to the show. Uh, we have received few messages. Uh, Lakshan says, good evening. And he's from uh, Colombo 6. We have Gayan. Uh, hey, Amit, all the best to you and your guest of today's session. Gayan was one of my guests and then we talked about personal finance. <laughs> budgeting and personal finance. Uh, we also have uh, Tavisha. Good evening, uh, Tavisha, for joining with us. And my first question to Dananjay, how about your childhood? 
were you into arts as a child uh, i just i'm just curious whether whether your whether your dad had a welding welding plant <laughs> yeah man actually uh, since my childhood uh, i used to draw on a floor walls and doors like every kids uh, that's how my my father first uh, identify my skills then he appreciated my works and uh, provide me with the bundle of papers and paint to draw on also i uh, refused uh, fancy Uh, toys and I collected tiny uh, iron item from my father's workshop and uh, build my own adventural story while playing with them uh, according to my imagination. I believe that's uh, that was very uh, helped me to uh, improve my imagination skills. Amazing. I mean, it's very rare you find a dad who would help a child yes. who is not into books. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you are into studies, all the parents will help you. But if you are not into books, like hey, you are, you are too much into this, you are too much into that. I think yeah. you are lucky to have a dad like that. You know, my gratitude to your father. Thanks to him, because of his initial encouragement. Yeah, we have a amazing, a one of a kind, unique visual artist uh, serving the nation today. Amazing. Yeah. So great. So I just want to know about your educational uh, background like what I mean is like sometimes in today's context like I mean, I mean if you take the ayurvedic medicine mm. long ago ayurvedic medicine was coming from you know from father to son to son to grandson like you know it was a generational thing you don't go to a university or anything like that and today if you really look at art also has a lot of education around it Uh, how about you uh, amit i am a self taught uh, visual artist uh, i have no any art related uh, academic qualification uh, i even did my a levels uh, under commerce subject uh, okay. so uh, i have a high uh, business administrative and insurance high national diploma since i have been working worked uh, 15 years in insurance sector but wow. uh, uh, recently I train one uh, internship trainee uh, who attached to fine art department in uh, Kalani University. Okay. So yeah. I mean that's why I think sometimes if you go and study too much you could yeah. also be framed. Now you are a free thinker. Right? Yeah. You don't have to limit your thinking towards any particular science or any particular style. So you are yeah. a free thinker. But I'm I'm little surprised to find out that you have been in the insurance or let's say corporate sector yeah, corporate uh, you know you know we know that in the corporate sector it's you know, a lot of pressure and all that probably you come maybe you are coming home and then doing your artwork so you are again you are back to your yeah. normal energy refresh my mind yeah. super super uh, amazing uh, what a transformation So now you could you said you were drawing and you were doing various things so you could have become any type of an artist but what triggered you to become a visual artist like what was the inspiration yeah and uh, as i said earlier uh, i ha- i had a artistic skill but when i grow up i have no ambition to becoming an artist i wanted to do a desk job in uh, well known company I have I have, <laughs> I have worked uh, many uh, local and multinational companies in the insurance sector. Uh, in uh, 2016, I wanted to make um, uh, Spartan helmet uh, out of metal. This is my very first. Uh, can we can we have a closer look at that, please? Wow! No, you have to. Ah, uh, right. So can you also slowly turn? Wow! Don't tell me a film director asked you to do this. <laughs> 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 Amazing. So that was your first yeah, this is, visual uh, art. Yeah, this is my very first uh, uh, metal metal uh, sculpture. And then that was in 2016. 16 and uh, with the simple effect uh, I made this. Uh, then uh, I wanted to make uh, metal face sculpture. I watch many uh, YouTube videos, tutorial, understand how to make uh, metal face sculpture. But unfortunately, uh, I uh, I I was unable to uh, make uh, 
the sculpture uh, what i imagine mm. uh, finally uh, while i uh, was uh, surfing internet i saw uh, metal face sculpture uh, that i exactly imagine i st- yeah i studied that uh, image and started uh, make my own uh, during my uh, working process i found uh, the sculpture artist who uh, created that original sc- uh, sculpture she is local uh, or foreign or foreign okay. uh, this uh, joanna topic uh, serbian visual artist uh, okay. now she's she's living in uh, italy uh, okay. and uh, and i send uh, messages to her uh, men- and mention uh, i have uh, inspired from ria works but uh, she didn't reply uh, after few weeks later i have uh, I, i was able to make my very first metal face uh, sculpture then okay. i again message uh, uh, to joanna with, with the picture com- yeah with the completed uh, picture okay then uh, she quickly responded respond to me with a uh, few uh, video guidance and she mentioned uh, what are the areas that i have to improve to make uh, beautiful sculptures uh, still still she uh, communicating with me uh, now she mostly doing paintings and now i am a full time uh, visual uh, sculpture artist uh, recently she mentioned now my works inspire her to do more uh, sculptures <laughs> <laughs> you seems to be a very quick learner uh, that much i can tell you amazing so let's say hi to few of our friends we have uh, asela good evening to amita and ananjay hi asela thank you very much for I mean see this is how you help I mean you are not actually helping me you are helping Dananjay who is thinking about you know taking his skill to inspire the world I mean we we should all be proud because there are not many Sri Lankan brands and then I'm sure on this side again it's even rare so I mean by way of coming here commenting here is actually helping him more than me because my uh, purpose of bringing him here is to showcase his uh, work uh, to the world and then we have uh, disnaka chaturanga disnaka hi disnaka he says good and then we have another top artist uh, vajira peris uh, if you don't know her uh, she was one of my guests in the in the show uh, and she's a big fan of sculptures good luck she says and she's someone who could have lived in the uk but she wanted to uh, you know bring her skill to sri lanka and helping schools and all the other places i think vajira and uh, dananjay you should uh, kind of talk to each other i can pass the contacts to each other i mean you all should work together right uh, leveraging each other's uh, network as well amazing so uh, i mean dananjay you are inspiring me now like i'm sure our audience also is getting inspired and they uh, this is amazing stuff so my next question what was the support from your parents and society around you i i heard that your father was kind of encouraging but i don't know about the rest of the uh rest of the family members you know in in our culture you want to do something for your a levels everybody will influence you you want to get married to somebody everybody will influence you the kind of car that you should buy everybody would influence yeah, you yeah. right uh, so how about your society around you i'm the most important to do art is uh, mental and financial freedom uh, my parents uh, my friends and my co artists helped me to achieve my uh, artistic goal my parents also uh, not uh, pressure me to for anything okay amazing so you are you are one of those lucky type <laughs> <laughs> okay so we have uh, prasanna uh, ilankon uh, dr prasanna ilankon is actually i think if i'm not mistaken is uh, from uh, morotu university good work dananjay uh, thank you doctor for coming and uh, encouraging uh, and those who probably came later i i'm i'm inspired with your work i want to play that 30 second video once again dananjay i hope you don't mind yeah uh, sure. let me do it again for the benefit of everybody who is here
wow i can watch it <laughs> 100 times <laughs> honestly yeah so like great so uh, what exactly is a visual artist <laughs> now somebody might mistake visual artist is someone who does only metal work can yeah. you explain the role of a visual artist who is a visual artist what is a visual artist visual art is uh, art form uh, such as uh, sculpting uh, painting filmmaking videography photography uh, ceramic uh, print making and also architecture uh, the uh, main focus is uh, to make main focus of visual art is uh, to create uh, expression through visual uh, forms uh, visual means okay that's the that's what a, a visual artist would do yeah yeah and i'm sure with today's technology maybe uh, he or she may even use 3d printing and stuff like that yeah yeah nft yeah <laughs> yeah yeah okay okay so in terms of fields now you are someone who is making like maybe for individual consumption or maybe to send it to an art gallery like uh, where else in the industries are they in advertising industry or what are the industries are they working yeah most of the artists uh, work in advertising industry uh, uh, like me uh, some are is uh, doing uh, professional uh, the full time uh, sculpting painting like that uh, film industry oh okay yeah, yeah. so so now if there is a child if you are if they are a student or a young person watching this uh, thinking about becoming a visual artist and when i find out now they have a good place in advertising industry they have a place in uh, movie industry i think they should become and i mean i'm sure it is less competitive <laughs> comparative to becoming a doctor or a lawyer <laughs> yeah yeah i'm uh, not uh, motivating them to be uh, advertise uh, job, uh, finding job in advertising form and other industry i motiv- mm-hmm. i won't motivate them to be a uh, professional artist full time artist that's uh, okay. how they feel their I feel. okay i get it so don't forget don't think about an industry but yeah. professionally become a visual artist first yeah yeah later on you can decide what to do with it okay i get it let me ask you my uh, next question because you were able to define the role of a visual artist right mm-hmm. who are your role models apart from this artist that you talked about in italy yeah uh, my role model is my father he's one who uh, taught me never give up attitude and he always uh, helped me up in my artistic project okay okay uh, like it's amazing i mean all our dads are role models but then uh, i can see how much he has influence in your case to achieve what you want to achieve right? most of the time what happens is sometimes parents want their kids to achieve the goals that they couldn't achieve <laughs> yeah. Yeah? yeah so in your case he has really inspired pushed you not to be i'm sure the the journey would wouldn't have been easy so yeah. his encouragement uh, is also uh, part of your growth okay then uh, like how many artists in sri lanka walk the path you walk today in terms of you know uh, visual uh, uh, artist yeah yeah according to my studies uh, less than 15 uh, artists do uh, contemporary uh, sculptures in sri lanka uh, most of them are practicing as a part time artist uh, because uh, every year 120 student qualify for the uh, visual art department uh, in both uh, kalania and university but they okay. are not uh, practicing as a professional uh, visual artist visual artist uh, uh, because uh, they they, are, they can't make uh, money from their art that is there is a significant issue the art badges are not uh, performing as as a full time artist also so I, the market, yeah please yeah. go ahead also the market share of the visual art is uh, slightly limited in sri lanka and uh, emerging artists are unable to participate in the international art expo uh, because of huge uh, budget yeah so 
imagine i mean there's only about 15 to 20 uh, professionally uh, visual artists who are professionals and then that also shows that as an industry it's very very small in sri lanka so yeah. then i mean to come out with a piece uh, art piece it might take i don't know days and days of hard work and then putting a price tag is in this kind of a market would be uh, uh, different because when you put a price it's not about your skill but yeah. also the art itself is i mean yeah. if uh, if mona lisa's paint is you know yeah. priceless it's yeah. not because of the paint or anything else it's uh, the, there is no material value there there's a artistic value exactly that's you can't put a price tag to it and then yeah. at the moment you put a price tag in in this market the local market probably people can't afford yeah, yeah. so that might be one reason why the industry is not growing isn't growing. it yeah exactly yeah. so okay i get it so uh is your your work valued here in this country what is your personal experience about yeah. your kind of work i mean survival also is something that you, you need to look into yeah. uh, in 2018 uh, first time i have revealed my uh, art in uh, annual kalapola uh, the biggest urban air festival in sri lanka which is organized yes. by uh, george kid foundation and george john kids uh, foundation yeah. uh, through uh, Kalapola event, I uh, got selected to Nava Kalakaro event and uh, I got many appreciations and opportunity to uh, showcase my art locally. Also, uh, I got uh, recognition for my work in uh, State Art uh, Festival uh, okay. last year. Yeah, currently, uh, we have a limited uh, audience in Sri Lanka for our art, but I believe uh, we can promote contemporary art in Sri Lanka. Uh, then expand our audience uh, soon yeah and it has to happen yes for sure yeah. uh, i mean that's one reason why i want to uh, bring you here at least you will be exposed to my little network <laughs> even though uh, they are they are not in probably they are not into art i don't know their taste maybe there are people who can actually uh, appreciate your work maybe get in touch with you connect you to someone outside sri lanka saying hey look i know a guy i can connect uh, two of you together just like i told you to get connected with vajira right because vajira is well connected to uh, the uk market yeah? yeah so this is how we uh, this is the the power of networking actually yeah. yeah great so let me ask you another question then uh how about the work of visual artists in the neighboring countries like we were we are talking about sri lanka and i know anyway today i mean if you talk about sri lanka in 2019 versus now we, the 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 situation is completely different thanks to the rulers you know we are in a different situation in the country but what about the neighbors maybe i don't know india bangladesh or pakistan Uh, in 2019, the World Youth Forum Egypt uh, has invited me to participate in their symposium uh, and they have uh, made open call to apply uh, sculpture artists to their symposium. Uh, in Egypt? Of, not Egypt, yeah. The symposium was held in Egypt, but they okay. have made open call to uh, all sculpture artists to participate in their uh, event that apply. Uh, the, they have uh, picked only 45 artists uh, from uh, 1200 applications uh, that was the first time sri lankan sculpture artists uh, participate in uh, world youth forum egypt okay uh, i so you got, you physically went there yeah 20 day symposium i was there wow okay uh, and uh, uh, during that uh, symposium i got uh, great chance to working with uh, 40 uh, all 44 artists and uh, still they are connecting with me through uh, whatsapp uh, the only five artists uh, make uh, their sculptures uh, out of metal including me and other artists are working with uh, different material like stone wood uh, fiber i am uh, really inspiring from their work yeah it's a, it's a global network of artists amazing uh, i mean i should congratulate you for getting selected and being there for 
uh, close to a month and getting inspired and then making this tiny island's name over there. I'm sure some would have asked Sri Lanka. <laughs> Where is Sri Lanka? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a great thing. We have someone okay, Gehanti, amazing and good work, Mr. Dananja. Very interesting conversation. Good luck, Mr. Dananja. So there are well wishers. Uh, thank you very much. You know, I will also give uh, Dananja's website later. You should go to his website and promote it. Share it among your friends, and then you know somebody would connect with him uh, and probably help him to move further. Uh, in achieving his goals okay my next question like how are you planning to win the world you haven't even won Sri Lanka what I really mean is like not everyone is into visual arts but then you know there's a massive market out there massive interest out there massive support out there so ideally you should be there so what's your plan uh, with the World Youth Forum experience, I uh, inspired uh, to be a full-time sculpture artist. And uh, okay. last year, I, yeah, last year I uh, resigned from my uh, corporate job and uh, decided to select my path as a uh, full-time visual artist. Okay. So uh, this year, Art Expo New York 2023 committee has accepted my application. Uh, and uh, the Art Expo New York is the largest uh, fine art trade show in the world. Now okay. uh, I am working on my new work. Also, uh, I have submitted my campaign to uh, tribefunds.lk to raise uh, funds for my Art Expo project. Okay. And also after my um, Art Expo project, I am planning to form a uh, sculpture uh, studio and academy in Colombo. Okay. Uh, I think it will help me to uh, make uh, more beautiful art pieces and uh, help uh, local emerging artists to show their art uh, to the world. Also, uh, my uh, currently my uh, works exhibit in Art Spur, the on leading online gallery in France. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna put that address here. Are you in a position to comment here with the link? No, I'm sorry. I'll uh, comment it later in comment. Yes, please. So that whoever wants to go and see uh, Dananja's work, uh, it's uh, showcased to the world. Apart from that, of course, you can visit Dananja's LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, his work is amazing. Uh, you should follow and kind of share, uh, react to what he what he's doing. So, uh, also, uh, the fu fundraising platform, what's the name of it? Tribefunds.lk Tribe Funds. Tribe, yes, yeah. Funds. Yeah, T-R-I-B-E-F-U-N-D-S yes. dot yes, LK. Dot. Dot LK. That's another place where you could actually help Dananje. It's Tribefunds.lk. Uh, it's a crowdfunding project. So, yeah. we, we all can help raise funds for his Art Expo New York 2023. It's an it's a amazing thing. How many artists do get selected annually to showcase their art in Art Expo New York exhibition? Uh, around 300 artists uh, yeah. around the world. So I'm sure uh, thousands of them must be applying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then only 300 get selected. Uh, yeah, they have a selected selecting committee. Yeah. yeah. And then you have got selected to showcase your work and then work with other artists in New York in 2023. And then you need funds to achieve your goal. And then we all need to help Dananje to represent Sri Lanka, go and work there, uh, showcase his work, get connected. And how long would the would the whole thing be? One week or? Uh, four days. Uh, March 30th to April 2nd. Uh, yeah, so we have about maybe two months, two and a half months to finalize everything. And then you need to fly. <laughs> Flying out yeah. is a is a costly affair <laughs> yeah. yeah so we have uh, uh, another linkedin user i can't see your username uh, fantastic conversation mr amitha gamage best of luck to mr dananjay Dressing. my recommendation is please uh, share this video or go to dananjay's uh, linkedin post 
uh, or go to his uh, maybe Instagram handle, go to Facebook, see his work and showcase. Now, Dananjay, I'm sure there would have been few others who have joined later. Would you still want to showcase your first piece of art, you know, which is behind you <laughs> for the benefit of... <laughs> this is Spartan's helmet. Uh, it's a Spartan's helmet. Yeah. I made mean, the out of it, uh, barrel sheets. You know, okay. bar- inner barrels. These oil barrels? Yeah, yeah, or oil barrel. Yeah, petrol diesel barrels. Okay, you did it. And this was your first proper piece yeah. in 2016. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So, this is why we need to help uh, Dananjay achieve his goal to help uh, Sri Lanka, you know, because it will help the other sculpture artist visual artist also to uh, come up when yeah. the name is heard when he goes and tells everybody hey look i'm from sri lanka and then this is my work uh, so amazing so let me ask you another question so uh, do you think that your kind of work will be valued in the world market we saw your kind of work but uh, what do you think can you make a big mark in the world market yeah yeah exactly i can uh, I have already uh, sold my uh, work to uh, many European countries and USA uh, with, by accepting my application, uh, Art Texo Committee has proved my uh, artwork <laughs> deserve to show in uh, international audience. Yes, yeah, for sure. So these are the, I mean, it's great to know that you have already sold some of your arts in other countries like uh, in the developed nations like EU or USA because we are one thing is uh, they value the other one is they can afford right you will get the right price for your work <laughs> yeah so amazing so my next question what do you expect from society for you to reach the goal you know, we all need to ha- help you right mm. what do you expect currently my uh, art text for your campaign run in uh, Typefunds.lk. You can log in to that uh, my my project and uh, support me as a sponsor or an investor uh, to achieve my international goal. That is my yeah. Goal. yeah. So like okay, somebody can go and donate five thousand or maybe ten thousand or fifty thousand. But instead, yeah. what if a sponsor could actually come and sponsor you know big chunk of it, right? Maybe your travel expenses or maybe you know, your your yeah. Uh, lodging, you're traveling over there, or the full project. I mean, that would be a great thing. Uh, there are a lot of organizations who actually help deserving yeah. Sri Lankans. And I, I strongly believe you are one of those rare but deserving Sri Lankan. Yeah. And you are going to uh, you are going to help the nation, help the country. Yeah. That's why we need to help you. So probably my I mean if if those audience who are watching this uh if you want to ask anything, say anything, please uh, do so. Uh, my probably last question, how can someone reach out to you? Uh, you can, my official website is eatkunst, E-A-D-E-K-U-N-S-T dot com. And also you can reach me on uh, Facebook and Instagram by searching my name. So I have a bit of a trouble today. I mean, it has never happened before. <laughs> I'm trying to comment here uh, for everybody to see. For some reason, I'm unable to comment today and I can't. Okay, just give me a second. I'll, I'll put it to a banner. It comes. Yeah, that is the website. Yeah, so uh, those who, who want to see Dananjaya's work, please go to uh, his website and check his work, support, share, uh, maybe if you know anyone who can actually help Dananjaya uh, for his uh, exhibition or rather it's the, the New York's exhibition where he could go and showcase his work. If you could uh, get somebody to uh, help him, connect him, uh, that would be great. So this is the, the tribalfund.lk campaign you yeah. go to www.tribalfunds.lk it's under projects uh, show my creations to the world it's beautifully written show my creations to the world this dananjaya's campaign go and support him achieve uh, his goal as well as it's our goal i think it's our responsibility uh, if you can't help him individually connect to someone who could actually help him help us help us all 
Yeah. So, Dananjay, uh, any last words before we uh, wind up today's session? And I'm going to wind up with your video once again. <laughs> but before that, do you have a specific uh, uh, word? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I want to mention the creative adults are the child who survived. So, uh, feed your inner child and they will uh, help you to think creatively. Okay. That's Can you say quote. it again, please? <laughs> <laughs> that is not, not my quote. Uh, the famous uh, uh, author said uh, that. The okay. creative adults are child who uh, survived. So, uh, feed your inner child, they will help you to uh, think creatively. Yeah. So, with that, I'm going to wrap up today's uh, session. But if you haven't seen his work, I'm going to play a video. Uh, and then with that, Tony, I will be ending the show. Uh, I would like to say thank you to everybody who came, who commented, who is going to share this video, who is going to visit Dananjaya's work, Dananjaya's LinkedIn profile, Facebook, Instagram, and probably who would also go to the, the Tribal Fund project and support him, connect him with the world. Uh, so thank you very much. Dananjaya. Thank you for having me, Amit, and your kindness uh, yeah. to, to take a step to help me. Yeah, I have to because you are helping a nation. So my gratitude to you. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you very much.